Hi guys, thank you for watching Adipedia World videos. We'll see about SAP Business One Credit Memo. We'll try to build this relationship map during this video. We'll take this business partner. We'll start from sales quotation, then sales order, then delivery, AR invoice, and uh, the credit memo. Now after delivery, there can be a return also or there can be an AR invoice. But in this case, uh, what we'll see in this video, we'll learn about credit memo and that's why we require an AR invoice here. Let's see the definition, a typical definition of credit memo. A credit memo stands for credit memorandum, which is a document issued by the seller of goods or services to the buyer. Reducing the amount that the buyer owes to the seller under the terms of an earlier invoice. A credit memo usually includes details of exactly why the amount stated on the memo has been issued, which can be used later to aggregate information about credit memos to determine why the seller is issuing them. This is a typical textbook definition of credit memo. A credit memo is simply when uh, in the SAP, it is simply when uh, you have delivered the goods, you have created an invoice. But the customer wants to return the goods for any any reason in that case you cannot delete uh, any of the documents that uh, have been already made within SAP business one so what you can do you can use this credit memo and you can do the needfuls let's assume that the seller a has issued a sales invoice of dollar 800 400 units of dvds that it shipped to buyer b at a price of eight each now buyer B informs seller A that one of the units is defective and the seller A issues a credit memo of $8. The credit memo will cause the following in the seller A accounting records. You can see this example here. A debit of $8 to the sales return and allowances. A credit of $8 to the account receivable. In other words, the credit memo reduced seller A net sales and its account receivable. When buyer B records the credit memo, the following will occur in its accounting records a debit of dollar eight to the accounts payable and a credit of dollar eight to the purchase returns and allowances or inventory let's see about the some of the highlights of uh, credit memo within sap business one so a credit memo may be issued because the buyer returned goods to the seller or there is a pricing dispute or a marketing allowance or other reason under which the buyer will not pay the seller the full amount of the invoice. Now the seller records the credit memo as a reduction of its accounts receivable balance while the buyer records it as a reduction of its accounting accounts payable balance. The seller should always review its open credit memos at the end of each reporting period to see if they can be linked to any open accounts receivable. If this is allowed by the accounting software, it reduces the aggregate dollar amount of the invoices on standing. Now, it can be used to reduce payments to the supplier as well. If the buyer has not yet paid the seller, the buyer can use the credit memo as a partial offset to its invoice based payment to the seller. If the buyer has already paid the full amount of the invoice, the buyer has the option of either using the credit memo to offset a future payment to the seller or as the basis of for demanding a cash payment in exchange for credit memo. A credit memo may be considered an internal credit memo uh, in which case no copy is sent to the customer. This approach is typically used when the company is getting off an outstanding receivable balance. Similar term for a credit memo is a credit memorandum or a credit note. Let's see how the credit memo works within the SAP Business One. Now in SAP Business One for the legal reasons you cannot delete a delivery or invoice that you enter into SAP Business One or change accounting relevant documents within the SAP Business One. However the customer might send the goods back for various reasons or you may have uh, made a mistake when you enter the documents. Third can be a situation can be if a sales transaction for which you recorded an accounting and inventory posting which has been completely or partially reserved you must enter a corresponding sales document to clear it. This document reverses the changes 
in the terms of inventory quantities and monetary values. The credit memo is clearing document for the invoice and for the returning goods. Now if the goods were delivered to the customer and an invoice has already been created, you can partially or completely reverse the transaction by creating a credit memo. And that's why credit memo is an important document for businesses and SAP Business One fulfills this requirement. With the credit memo, you correct both the quantities and monetary values. The system increases the inventory of the credited items by amounts specified in the credit memo. The credit memo credits the value in the customer's account in the accounting system and amends the revenue account by the same amount. The system corrects the tax amounts automatically. In the SAP Business One, you can easily create an AR credit memo with a zero amount. You can do this when you clear AR invoices for the items delivered without a charge. For example, items that are part of promotion or are covered by a service contract. Or in case they may be free samples as well. When you create an AR credit memo based on sales order, you can choose to reopen the item quantity of the order. To be able to do so, the checkbox enable reopening of orders when creating returns based on the orders must be selected in the document settings. The document settings is an important uh, part of the SAP where you can directly choose which document will behave in what manner. That we will see in the coming sessions. This is our sales quotation that we will be using today. Bill Levelin is our sales employee. This is our sales order. You can see that it is based on the sales quotation. This is our delivery based on sales quotation, sales order. This is our AR invoice. Now here we are creating an AR invoice. That means the user or the salesperson has already created an AR invoice. That means their only uh, reversal can be possible through credit memo only. And there is no other way that the reversal can happen within the SAP Business One. Here is the credit memo. You can see it is based on sales quotation 231 and a sales order delivery and AR invoice. There can be various reasons of sending the goods back. One can be that they may have failed in QC at the customer end or the customer may have ordered for something and the business uh, might have shipped something else or another reason can be that there might be over quantities that have been shipped so the customer wants to return the remaining quantities here is our relationship map we have gone through sales quotation we created a sales order we did a delivery we did an air invoice we did uh, credit memo. We already know that we can copy the sales quotation to say sales order, sales order to delivery or AR invoice. Now in SAP Business One, you can directly create an AR invoice and you can deliver goods at AR invoice itself. SAP Business One also gives you functionality of doing your banking on these documents as well. That's make uh, that saves the users time to create all these documents. Thank you.